we don't get a lot of announcements from Apple search ads. So when they released recommendations, I had to talk about it. It's an area within your Apple search ads accounts where you can get insights on three components that'll better help you optimize your campaigns. In this video, I'm gonna show you what those three recommendation features are and how you can decide whether you want to implement them within your campaigns. This new feature is gonna save you a lot of time than manually going one by one for every single ad set. So let's dive in and we'll see what it's all about. If you have logged into your Apple Search Ads account recently, you may have noticed something different. Honestly, you could not have missed it because Apple had a pop-up of their new feature, Recommendations. In March of 2020, Apple announced its new Recommendations feature. And it's okay if you missed the pop-up, I was just joking around. You can still find the link to the Recommendations page in the top right corner when logged into your Apple Search Ads account. Advertisers promoting their iOS app will now get three different recommendations they can review to decide if you want to make these optimizations in your accounts. The first recommendation option is keywords. When creating your campaigns in Apple search ads, you can already manually search for keywords that you want to add to your campaign. One problem I run into is trying to find enough relevant keywords to add to my initial campaign that have some sort of search volume. Now, the new recommendations page can help find new keyword ideas. Looking into my client accounts, this particular example is only giving us one recommendation, but in your account, you may have several that you can review. If you click on the blue view link that I am highlighting right now, you will be shown all of the new keywords Apple recommends testing. I still haven't been able to prove this, but in my initial experience, every recommended keyword has had the match type of exact. If you find some keywords you like, you can review the max CPT bid, that is max cost per tap bid, and then choose an ad group to place the recommended keyword. Then all you have to do is hit apply. This makes optimization to your accounts a lot easier than trying to go ad group by ad group to add your new keywords after you have had to go in and manually research them. For whatever keyword recommendations you do not want added to the account, it is really easy to select them and then choose the dismiss button to ignore that recommendation. The second recommendation feature within Apple search ads is bid recommendations. Now, of course not. You won't get any recommendations on where you should decrease your bids. All the recommendations are going to be for increasing your bids. But the reason for increasing the bids on these keywords is to help them gain more exposure if you are seeing good results from them in the first place. You can see in this image, we have a column for the current max CPT bid. Then right next to it, we have another column for the new recommended max CPT bid. Whenever I have gone in and reviewed these columns, I see a mix that some of the bid adjustments Apple recommends are just slightly above your current bids, others will be noticeably higher. You do not have to go with the recommendations Apple has given you. Advertisers can click on the recommended CPT bid and adjust it to be whatever you want it to be. Then you can either accept the new bid or deny the bid recommendation completely. If you are used to Google showing you potential impact on impressions and clicks, do not expect that in Apple. We get no additional information on the potential impact of these decisions. So be cautious when applying these bids and understand they are only going to help increase your reach and visibility. So you may have to go back and look at some of the historical information on if these keywords actually performed in driving taps and eventual downloads. After you make your bid changes, you will then have to monitor any conversion impact by yourself. And the last recommendation you may receive from Apple Search Ads is for your campaign budget caps. When setting up a campaign in Apple Search Ads, the budget you choose is a lifetime budget. If the advertiser wants to add a daily cap, we have to enter that daily cap as an additional step. This new recommendation feature now makes it easier for advertisers to know how much they could be spending in a single day, thus making it very helpful for any advertisers who want to have as close to 100% exposure as possible for specific keywords. You will get a list of which campaigns are limited by budget on a consistent basis. Advertisers can adjust the amount in the recommended daily cap column to be whatever amount you want it to be. This will be helpful if you do not want to max out the daily cap right away. Like the other recommendation options, you can then apply the changes or dismiss them completely. If you are getting consistent downloads from these campaigns, you can now easily see where you have the opportunity to get more downloads from your current campaigns. And it's much easier to see where you're hitting a wall with your daily budget caps to start giving those campaigns more money to get more downloads. For promoting apps, I have found Apple Search Ads to be by far the most affordable and effective way to push my iOS apps for my clients. While we don't get a ton of new features released from Apple Search Ads, I am happy with the recommendations page. This will make reviewing optimization opportunities and implementing those changes a lot easier than having to go campaign by campaign. If you've tried out any of these recommendations in your Apple Search Ads accounts, let us know in the comments how they've been working for you. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week, so if you want to see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.